The Spanish bank, Banca Civica, begins selling its shares today. It debut, its debut in Madrid comes a day after Spanish lender Bankia also entered the stock market. Now, both banks were created from a merger of Spain's struggling savings banks, or Cajas. It's part of the government plan to shore up capital in the industry at a time of, of crisis. Nicole Etano reports. Amid Europe's financial storm, a rebirth. Bankia, now Spain's third largest banking group, made its market debut Wednesday in Madrid. This is an important strategic step for Bankia, for the whole sector and for the Spanish economy. With this step, we're proving that we and the rest of the Cajas too are able to adapt to a much more complex and demanding environment in a record time. Upbeat words, but investors are wary. Spain's banks are still reeling from a property bust. Now they're struggling to defend themselves against Europe's spreading sovereign debt crisis. It would have been a bad time, whatever time you uh, would choose this year. The sovereign risk situation and stress situation is not going to go away lightly. Bankia is a new bank, formed through a merger of seven troubled savings banks, known as Cajas. It's part of a broader reform. There were 45 such banks run as non-profits. That's been cut by two-thirds. A smaller merged bank, Banca Civica, will also start trading today. At this moment, we have many international investors very disappointed with the situation. They are willing to invest in banks and saving banks, but they claim for a more clear and transparent data Bankia raised more than 3 billion euros in its recent share sale. It went public to help shore up its capital base. But to win investors, had to slash the initial share price by 26%. It was a rocky first day of trading. By the end, shares were flat. Reason enough to celebrate, but Bankia will have to work hard to keep the party going. Nicole Latano has more on this. She joins me in the studio. Bankier started trading. We've got uh, Civica about to debut in Madrid. You have to say, you're having an IPO. Not the best sort of economic conditions to launch two banks in the market. Well, the timing probably couldn't have been worse. You had those stress tests last week, which raised all sorts of concerns, again, about the health of the Spanish banking system. Five Spanish banks failed. Another seven just squeaked through, including Bankia and Civica. So there are a lot of concerns, too, about whether or not a deal will be reached today. Now, both Bankia and Civica priced their shares at the low end uh, of their market. And shares yesterday for Bankia were pretty flat. They dropped, ended flat, but still everyone's watching clearly what's going to happen today. Yeah, everybody's watching the Spanish banks, of course, but everybody's watching banks right across Europe, really. Uh, European banking stocks are so, so lower than they were, what, 10 months ago. Well, that's right. European banking stocks are actually uh, trading at their lowest compared to earnings since the Lehman crisis in 2008. There are some fund managers who are still bullish about it, but uh, generally everyone's just waiting to see what happens today. If there isn't a deal soon, uh, that's going to hit stocks today. We've seen, of course, today there's been a bit more optimism that there might be some sort of deal with uh, Germany and France together saying that they've come to an agreement. Uh, but this is clearly... Uh, when we talk about a Lehman-style crisis, that's the concern that's going to spread from the sovereign to the banks and that the banks are going to have trouble recapitalizing. So everything depends on what happens today. We 